<laughs> not like there is money, you. Not like we have money, <laughs> boss. You sit out. People <laughs> young, we school back. I'm like, we not get money, yo. Use that two thousand, three thousand that you used to subscribe. Uh, used to go and uh, eat to club. Go sag, go sag, go sag for the one and only, one and only, one and only YouTube. Oh, <laughs> YouTube. No joking, no my guys, them them know me. Hey faithful, welcome back to my channel. It is your favorite street girl, your favorite errand girl, Melissa. Oh to you guys. It's been a long time. I've been out in the streets like God, it's been a really, really long time. And I'm back like I never left. Okay, you guys, you sent me on errand and I am yet to deliver. So some of you requested that I asked people living in the UK on their opinion about this healthcare assistant route on if it's going to be extended or not. So eleven months ago healthcare assistance was added to the shortage occupation list in the uk that means that agencies care homes are able to recruit overseas care assistants to come work in the uk as carers and it's almost a year it's just 11 months ago it is almost a year and everyone is wondering if it is going to be extended or not because it was clearly stated that it will last for a period of 12 months so right now we are just like are they gonna extend it now note that currently it is a bit difficult to get healthcare assistant job from overseas it is really difficult even when you check these job search engines you keep seeing must live in the uk must live in the uk must have uk experience it can be really really daunting trying to apply from overseas but you guys that's not to discourage you keep trying lots of people have been able to utilize this opportunity and one thing about this opportunity is that it is a gateway to becoming a full uk resident anyway you guys i'm going to be hitting the streets of the uk as usual to ask people living in the uk if they think that the uk will extend it or not what it's like working in the uk as a healthcare assistant i'll also be asking them on their opinion about moving to the uk either as a student or as a healthcare assistant like which do they think is better so you guys with all these questions you can tell that today's content is going to be packed because you guys know that i am your errand girl so you guys don't go anywhere let's hit the streets of the uk together hey guys so i just met this lady she's so fine like i'm not even whining <laughs> no but you know your face is faultless thank you thank you the truth you know i don't want you to look like i'm fancy you but you do know okay, yeah i don't know <laughs> look at the camera <laughs> see your fine face <laughs> how are you doing today i'm very well thank you uh, what's your name okay my name is Oluwa Damlari but I would prefer you call me Grace so that mm. it will be easy for you to pronounce oh, I love Dami really ah, do you want me to call you Grace yeah okay hi Grace hi <laughs> <laughs> we just say cash cruise for here guys I don't know if I forget my questions <laughs> we are catching cruise anyway how are you finding the UK so far um I would say it's better than Nigeria trust me um it's just that the cold you <laughs> yeah mm. but at least I'm getting used to it I'm outside I'm not wearing this completely. Mm. Like, I'm finding it interesting. The network is perfect. I can do anything anywhere. Mm. That's good. And there's light. There's no darkness. I'm like, sometimes I'll take this all this light. But the UK has been very wonderful. If you're coming from Nigeria, you have to just, you know, format those Nigerian mentality mm -hmm. of doing things because mm -hmm. here yeah, everything is organized. Yeah, there are rules to things. You don't force people when they don't want to talk. You have mm. to just respect people. Mm. You say when you're in Rome. Right. act like the romans baby <laughs> all right quick one right you know what's showing now is this healthcare assistant route coming to the uk via so someone right now is confused should i come to the uk via healthcare assistant route or via student route which would you advise okay so um i would say don't be scammed because the this jackpot era can make you get scammed and money is hard naira mm. pounds whatever it is you work for money and it's really hard to come by but um study route is just easy if you know what you're doing, it's very easy to come in through the study route. But mm. I, I used to tell people, if you have a good opportunity and you know you would not get scammed, mm. the care route is also very, very good. The work route, if you are sure that the agent, the link, whatever it is you're coming through is legit, you can come in through the work route. But study route, very easy and mm. you can actually switch at any time. Yeah. Okay, that's a good one. Do you think the UK needs carers? Yes, definitely. Mm. Even a, a, a two-year-old, no, them two years need care. But 
But let's say an adolescent or youth or somebody we all need care. That's it. We all need. In fact, I need. I need a care. <laughs> I, 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 I need someone to come and pamper me. I need somebody to tell me, wake up. It's time to have your breath. Like, come and eat. Some. I need. I need that. We all need care. Oh my goodness, this girl. I definitely need one. I don't know if you need. Do you need a care? Ah, I need one. You can even become my carer. <laughs> Baby pals. <laughs> oh my god, this girl is a vibe, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you know they announced this SK assistant route thing a year ago. Yeah. And you can say that it's, the validity is going to be for just 12 months. So after 12 months, it's open for review and possibly extension, or they might just stop it. You know, in your opinion, looking at the UK now, definitely when there are so many age people that are in need of carers. So do you think the UK will just look around and say, I think we need to recruit more care assistants so that they can help the aged people or the vulnerable people. So basically, question is, do you think they are most likely going to extend it or stop it? It's just your opinion. It's not facts. Yeah, sure. Just our opinion based on the surroundings, based on things that are happening. Do you think they are most likely going to extend it or just stop it? Um, I think they are most likely going to extend it because looking at um, the way UK is, I, I think I would take my opinion from the way UK work culture is. There will definitely be people who will break down because the work culture is something they need to review so there will be a need to actually yeah. extend they, they, they will definitely need carers at every point yeah. they would need carers yeah. so it's not left to them to decide if they actually want overseas carers yeah. or just utilize yeah. the ones yeah yeah because the numbers of people here <laughs> <in fact. laughs> students are dragging that position eh? hey that's why you want to apply and they're telling you uk only uk, UK yeah 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 uk only that experience mm -hmm. right? but uk you must already because you can already have enough international people here. Like I'm more coming, no? <laughs> That's it. Some 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 main applicants are here already, and they're still telling me uh, four four dependents are coming. I'm like. <laughs> really <laughs> only you so yeah that's it if you want i just say if you want to do anything do it now now mm -hmm. is the time because there's really no time yeah oh lua dami la grace my protective memory in agbosa 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 for the one and only one and only you want an only YouTube? YouTube! Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Grace. I think I, I, I had fun doing this oh, and really? I want to do it again. Oh, <laughs> you're so lovely. Come, on, come and hug me, hug me, Mama. <laughs> do have a great day. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, so I just read this handsome thumb man. You're making me look so short right now. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, alright, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, how are you finding the weather? Mm, it's very good, very good for me. I like it's cold than being warm. Wow, that means Canada and Iceland is calling you. <laughs> yes, so yes, so I can adapt anywhere I am. I can oh. adapt, but I, I like it this way. I like it this way. That's great. What's your name? My name is Baba Tunde. Oh, yes. Baba Tunde. Baba Tunde. Yes. Oh. yes. Nice name. Yes. So can I call you Tunde? You can call me Tunde. Some people call me Baba. Some people call me Bob. Some people call me Bob. Oh. So. It, Babs. It, yes, so, so you can call me Babs. So I'm I'm used to it. Okay, yes. I'll call you Babs. Babs, Babs, <laughs> Babs is better. Okay, Babs. So how long have you been in the UK? Roughly five years now. Since 2017, I've been in the UK. 2017, yeah. Wow, well, yes. that means you have a lot to teach us. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they said the experience is the best teacher. Yes. So I've, I've experienced the highs, the lows, everything about the UK so far. So far, so good. Yeah, I I agree with you. Okay, so. During your five years in the UK, have you at some point in your life worked as a carer? Yes, yes. That, that was my, I think, my third job because it was clashing with my studies when I came in. Mm. So I had to create time and it's, it's, it allows you to be flexible. You can do day, yeah. you can do night. So I was doing night, so I was going to the uni in, during the day. So I worked night, weekend. So it's, it allows me to do that. So that's why I, I opted for that. And it's, it's, it's quite stable. In the mm -hmm. UK, is everywhere there is a need for care assistance. It was challenging at the beginning, mm -hmm. but I had to do what I had to do just mm -hmm. to survive. Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. At some point, most people worked as a carer. Some persons start, might start working as a carer and they would just enjoy it and just like, okay, this is what I want to do mm -hmm. for life. And then yes. do their MVQ, mm -hmm. level three, level five, become manager and you know just explore that. There are so many opportunities yes. you can explore as a carer. And like you mentioned, it's very flexible. It's yes. something you can do as a student, mm -hmm. as a second time job, yes. as a mom with so many kids. Like it's just really flexible and yes. that's one of the main benefits of being a carer. The last year it was announced that 
UK will start recruiting overseas carers. And to be honest, in the space of one year, they've recruited a whole lot of carers. I know people that have benefited from it because it gives opportunity to have the five years stay, then ILRO and then passport. Amazing. So now a lot of people are tense because right now it's, it's a bit difficult to get it now. So people are like, are they going to extend it? Will it continue? The, the UK, is this saturated now with carers? Do, 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 they are comfy. They don't know if the UK is still in carers or not. It's your opinion because we are not UK home office. Mm-hmm. So we are just going to give our opinion based on the fact that we are living here. And you've worked as a carer. Myself, I've worked as a carer. So do you think the UK government will extend the timing? COVID took a lot of people away. There were a lot of um, debt. And the need for carers came up. And that's why they, they created this scheme. But I know it will get to a stage where they will have reached that level because they have records in the UK, number of carers, number of um, companies that are coming up. So when they get to that stage, they are going to shut it. Just like the post study. The post study didn't just come now. Yeah. In the past, we had it, but they noticed that it was taking jobs from the main citizens. Yeah. So now they are saying that it might be too saturated for the economy okay. and they might not be able to control people that are into, into care. So... I think when they get to that stage where they know that, okay, they've had enough, they go to stop it and, and go back and review. You know, the UK yeah. like to review, yeah. they like continuous improvement. So mm-hmm. those things will come up and they will come into another scheme to, that would support the healthcare system. Yeah. You can see a lot of strike coming in. People are complaining yeah. that they are they're not being well paid. Even carers are also in that category. Mm-hmm. So because of that, they, they will stop it. Mm-hmm. I think when they get to that stage, it's, it's inevitable. Yeah. It, nothing lasts forever. Y- yeah. So things like that will happen and they will come back and just like you have the post study, they just introduce it again. Mm-hmm. So they will come back bigger and better so mm. I, the reason why it's cast now is because the demand is quite high it is actually. Yeah, people, people are seeing it as an opportunity to to come in now yeah. people are people are deviating from their normal profession going yeah. to that because they know that it's the easiest way to get a uh, cos yes. so you can see the demand mm. is, is quite high and a lot of things when the demand is high a lot of kiosks a lot of kiosks will come into the system people are starting people of that scheme so yeah. So the government is trying to just at least um, cover their backs and mm. see how best they can improve and tighten the security yeah. in that system. You've made so much valid points and I agree with you. Really intelligent points. So the thing is that when it was announced, they stated that it's going to last for a period of 12 months. And the 12 months is fast approaching. People are really telling, like that's the part that I really want to get to. And I know that that's the part that a lot of people are itchy to. Yeah? Mm. So from, from you know the things you've observed, you've noticed, do you think it's currently saturated? Do you think the UK still needs more people? People. They will need. They will need more people. People are getting to that stage where people are need more carers mm-hmm. and different areas from people who are young, old, adults, people who are rich end life. Yeah. So there's always going to be need for carers. Yeah. People who are also having babies. So there's always going yeah, to be need for carers. Circle of so, life. So, so circle of <laughs> life. So they, they, if they stop it, um, the UK they are, they are known for. They say they will do something. They will do it. Mm-hmm. Is it the need for them to extend? They will extend if there's a need for that. If they say they go to close at that time, they, they will definitely close yeah. it. But they, there's always room for review and they will come back with a better scheme right that's nice so let's let's all be watching now let's let's wait trust me if any announcement is made i'm definitely going to bring it on this channel so if you've not subscribed you're dull you know now finally i know i've said last year almost two three times now i asked too many questions we just it's very smart i just want to milk him so people will learn a lot he gets me all right so do you have any word of advice or encouragement for anyone now that you just frustrated person has been trying to apply 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 unfortunately left right center any word of motivation they are about giving up now they're like baba today just give us word of advice i'm i'm losing it i just need somebody to motivate me give me the ginger to keep applying any word of advice for them i would say don't give up if you apply online and you don't get any response go to some of those care homes go there in person and ask them and you'll be shocked some people will say they will need uh, some people don't have the online presence mm. so if you go there and do the work. How about people that are in like overseas? Overseas, call. You, you have their contact number. Yeah. Just use that 2,000, 3,000 that you used to subscribe. <laughs> or you used to go and eat a cool beer and uh, drink. So mm. use it to call. Call them to say this and use it to sell yourself because they always want to hear from you. Mm. So send emails, send reminders, send, call them push. and say, and push. Mm. So if you don't, if you send an, if you send an email, they don't, they didn't respond. Call them and say, this is what, this is what you do. This is what you have. This is what you are looking at for. Sometimes they will sign post it to other, other companies that, mm. that sponsors. So mm. that's what you should do. Yeah. So keep pushing. Do go out of the extra mile to, to push. <laughs> All right, Babs, let me just free you now. Thank you so much for coming on our channel. Do okay. so have a great day. Bye. Hey, guys. So I just read this lady. You guys will not believe what just happened. 
The moment I saw her, she recognized me. <laughs> Guys, I, so, I swear, I feel so embarrassed seeing my subscriber. Why would you be embarrassed? Anything from Melissa. We're happy to meet you. What's your name? My name is Dima. Ah, Dima, how are you doing today? I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm cold, I'm... Oh. But it's alright, I'm, I'm doing well, I'm happy. Oh my god, you guys, she's so pretty. Mm. Good, like... She's fine. I'm not joking. I'm not whining you, but you know you're fine. That's why you can come out with natural face. Ah. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, fine. They cover with makeup now. <laughs> no, no, ah. When you they think about your problem for you, you're not going to do makeup. Oh, now, no get problem. They drop brows. <laughs> so how are you finding the UK so far? I'm finding it, uh, I, I really, I'm really enjoying it. I like the fact that Life is simple here, honestly, mm. let's not lie. <laughs> and uh, comparing to, you know, how it is back home, mm. everything is really simple. Everything is just, you know, people are happy to help. Mm. You know, aside, mm, I'm trying to adjust the weather and all mm. that, you know, it's winter. Aside that, every other thing is just perfect. Uh. Yeah, I like the fact that the system works. The system works, everything works for you. Yes, they say the taxes are high, but I mm. guess the taxes work for you, so mm. everything is just, I guess it's only difficult when you're trying to settle in. Mm -hmm. like this stage I'm in now yeah. but you know over time I find that mm. it gets better so, like some places are really confused they don't know if it's actually worth it coming to the UK to pack shit <laughs> to work as a healthcare assistant don't mind me guys the job is, is okay it's, it's an honorable job it's, it's very rewarding believe me you, you get your reward both on earth and in heaven so would you advise anyone to come into the UK using the healthcare assistant route or using the student route I'd say every individual should weigh their options. Mm. They both have their advantages and their disadvantages. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So coming in through the healthcare assistance route, I feel some people find it difficult, you know, getting such opportunities. Mm. But then if you're able to, and then you don't have money to pay for school fees, you know, student routes now, <laughs> you pay school fees, you yeah, do, you'll be working and all that. I think the healthcare assistance route might even be a better option if someone has the opportunity for that but then if you have enough money you do the student route <laughs> not, not like there's money you not like we have money boss use it out <laughs> you can squeeze it out you do the student route mm. but i think you have to be quite uh, intentional about what you're coming to study because mm. it's not just to just yeah. come out just move just come uk here yeah. that kind of thing you yeah. have to be intentional about your course and all that mm. so anytime they pick up a news that will affect people they always say People studying low degree courses, they're always tagging low degree yeah. courses in low degree institutions. So that's why if you want to come here using the student route, it's just best for you to be very strategic and look for a course that has potential mm -hmm. post study, right? Yeah. Okay, so lastly, they announced this healthcare assistant route about a year ago. Mm -hmm. That was February last year. So it's almost 12 months now. And they did mention that the validity will be for 12 months. So people are worried. They don't know if they will extend it or not. Looking at the UK, do you think the UK needs carers? Ah, yes, so they will extend it. I, I even mm. thought they had already, but no, they've I not. really do think they will extend it because mm. there's still very, very high demand for carers. Mm. From when you when you go um, and search for jobs, you see like lots of vacancies for carers. Mm. But what I don't know is if there are lots of carers that are still willing to sponsor people from outside yeah. the country. That's what I don't know. Mm. But as for the UK still needing carers, mm. I know that they do need carers. Yeah, I don't know why they find it a bit difficult i don't know they struggle with recruiting from overseas they always say uk only uk earlier i don't really know why well, uk experience at times and all that yeah. Yeah. so that's the only part i'm not sure about mm. i feel like they do need carers so okay. i think that it should be reviewed yeah. in my opinion i i guess mm -hmm. it would be reviewed mm -hmm. yeah all right thank you so much dima you guys <laughs> don't worry you're, go you're going to start the youtube channel very soon <laughs> you guys you must <laughs> watch out for her tapping the energy i'm tapping tapping it oh my god very you guys she's she's such a vibe i swear <laughs> dima do have a great day thank you hey people so i just met this beautiful lady <laughs> hi what's your name my name is ify oh ify how are you very well thank you uh, how are you finding the cold weather the cold weather. How are you finding the cold weather? <laughs> I'm good. I won't lie you. I know I am I'm freezing, but how about you? I'm fine, but I'm surviving. Uh, so yeah, fine. Nah. So would you advise anyone to move to the UK? From the small chain because I'm sure when you enter the Manchester Airport or Heathrow Airport, <laughs> the difference was there. And then living here, there's there will be a difference definitely. So would you advise anyone to come to the UK? So that's a very controversial question, yeah. but um, UK is a different experience entirely. Yeah. And if you're open to it, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Are you giving us political answer? 
<laughs> careful. I'm trying no, to be careful. I, I get the point. It's just like when you ask somebody, will you vote Tinubu or Pito? People are like, eh, I think I will just vote the person yes, that the yes. car fit. <laughs> Politics. But I, I absolutely understand. Some persons are confused. They don't know whether to come to the student's route or the care assistant route. So what would you advise somebody that is just confused now? I mean, if you find an opportunity to come through the care route, I think that's better, that's cheaper. But if not, you can decide to come through the student route as well. Yeah, the student route can be really expensive. <coughs> it's, it's, I don't know how you people pay it. <laughs> I've been in the UK for four years, guys. I come to the uni or I come to my town centre. I'm seeing plenty of students. Like, you can tell that this person is a student. Just looking so young, with school bag. I'm like, when I get money, oh. You for have money. <laughs> Me, I'm there yet. Like, the school fees is a lot, guys. But people are still... I don't know if people do it. Honestly, kudos. Kudos <laughs> to you guys. Students. <laughs> no, ah. no, so most times, I mean, it's not something you just wake up and then decide to come to the UK. You mm. plan for years. You know how you cut your coat. I cut, yeah. Do you understand? And do you pay for school fees once? How does it run? Okay, no. No, not once. There is an initial deposit. Imagine know your school, actually. Mm -hmm. But in mine, there is an initial deposit. Mm -hmm. And then you're given like five, six months to complete it. So with the hope that okay. when you come here, you begin to work and earn and then mm -hmm. you pay as well. So that's how it is. I say we want to see money. Lastly, so they announced that the validity for the health care assistant round will be for 12 months. The 12 months will be in February. So we are just waiting. So do you think they are most likely going to extend it? Or like, what is your opinion? I don't know. I really mm. don't. I really don't know. You know how UK is now. Yeah. They can give a lot today and then change it tomorrow. Yeah. So... I really don't know. So do you think the UK needs carers? Looking around, do you think the UK needs carers? Yes, they do. Why do so you think it's, so? It's quite different from Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria, when you're old, your children or your John doesn't mm -hmm. take care of you. But here, it's quite different. Just put your parents in a care home. And of course, yeah. 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 I think I think it's something that the world always need Because we all get old. <laughs> Definitely. Even me, when I go old, I will need someone to look after me. So I think you it's something. kept in a care home. Okay. Uh, if I was in Nigeria, I wouldn't want to. But yeah, I've worked in a care home, right? And I think it's a good thing because you're old and you're with your fellow old people. I think at that point in your life, some people feel like when they are old, they ask when they really want to be with their family. But your kids are on the run. They are busy. They might not really have your time like as you want. In my opinion, I think I would like to be in a care home. When I'm in a care home, I meet people of my age. We share our life experiences. We've lived in this life for like 70 years, 60 years. Lots of experiences. We do things together. I might even have a bestie <laughs> my, my <laughs> bestie that is almost my age mate i think at that point i really want to bond with people of my age and then have my family come to visit me often i think i like that idea i don't think i like the idea of staying just staying in one room like in nigeria where i come from you just be in one room mama come and eat mama i don't like that vibe when i when i came here and worked as a carer i saw i was like this is really a nice idea i think we now have care homes in nigeria do you know I really don't know. Yeah, I think it's something that should be encouraged. It's nice. It's something that should be encouraged. Mm. But you know how Nigeria is. Nigeria system is quite different. Except you put in like strict measures strict to ensure measures. That, yes, those old people are actually being taken care yeah. of. Yeah. Honestly, I, I really I really love it when I see them being looked after and it's like thank you, love, thank you, love. <laughs> I don't know. I really like it, Sha. But yeah, you guys, Ify, thank you so much for coming on our channel. Like, we really, really learned a lot from you. Hope when else we'll see you, you'll be happy to show your fine face on this channel. Alright, till the next time. <laughs> Alright, have a great day. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had such a great time. Like, guys, I have laughed and laughed and laughed. This guy, oh my god, these people are so hilarious. And at the same time, they hit the nail on the head. So you guys, all I can say is that, fingers crossed, let's keep waiting. Let's keep being hopeful that they would extend it. And if you've been trying for a long time, don't give up. I know the unfortunately can be so annoying when getting unfortunately unfortunately left right center and you're like ah, is it even possible do they actually do this thing is it possible for me to actually get this job believe me it is very very much possible guys don't give up no like as they always say now nah, we give up lose so. <laughs> you guys share with me your thoughts in the comment section and of course i'm going to see you all in my next one for now bye